At the USC Center for Artificial Intelligence in Society, we are researching ways to leverage the power of social networks to address complex social problems. My colleagues and I have focused on one particular problem, how to use artificial intelligence techniques to prevent the spread of HIV amongst homeless youth. In Los Angeles County, homelessness has reached a crisis level with nearly 47,000 people experiencing homelessness on any given night. Homelessness is and has to be our top priority after all, real lives are on the line. Sometimes overlooked in this conversation is the increasing number of homeless youth. There are up to 6,000 homeless young people sleeping on the streets in Los Angeles. These homeless youth are 10 times more likely to be exposed to HIV due to high-risk activities such as unprotected sex and needle sharing. Among housed youth, less than one half of 1% have HIV. Yet among homeless youth, nearly 10% are infected. Educating all these youth about HIV is a necessity, but this goal is unachievable due to limited resources. One of the most effective intervention tools is identifying peer leaders, individuals who have the most influence among their social circles. As these peer leaders are taught about the risks of HIV exposure, they can spread this information amongst their friends and social networks. The challenge for us in working with peer leaders lies in knowing who exactly their friends are. The social networks of homeless youth are very difficult to quantify, so we're faced with a great deal of uncertainty about the exact structure of those networks. This is where we need AI. Healer is a computer algorithm which picks peer leaders based on their location and importance in social networks of homeless youth. First, social workers collect information from homeless youth about who they interact with. This allows Healer to map their friendships, creating a social network of the youth and their connections. This information is then analyzed by Heal, the core algorithm that powers Healer. Heal pinpoints which homeless youth in the network would make successful peer leaders. Social workers then educate these peer leaders about HIV prevention and encourage them to share their knowledge with their social circles. Finally, social workers are able to gather more data about the network based on feedback from the peer leaders. They enter this information back into the healer system, which enables the algorithm to continually refine its results for future interventions. Now, how does the heal algorithm recommend the most influential peer leaders? Heal partitions the social network to find closely connected communities and selects the best peer leader from each one. This best peer leader is chosen using state-of-the-art AI technologies like sequential planning under uncertainty and decision theory. In doing so, Heal ensures that HIV education is not localized to one part of the social network, but spreads widely over the entire population. Moreover, Heal considers that the ideal peer leader not only spreads information effectively, but also provides useful data about their social network structure. Thus, it weighs a peer leader's social influence against how much useful information they provide. This calculation helps Heal improve peer leader selection in the next round. This process is repeated until we reach resource capacities. In spring of 2016, we conducted a trial of the Healer system with homeless youth agencies here in Los Angeles. A total of 62 youth were recruited, and from that group, Healer selected 11 peer leaders. We compared this to a control group made of 54 youth, where peer leaders were selected without using Healer. After just one month, Almost 50% of the youth in the healer subset who had previously gone untested had taken an HIV test. This is in contrast to only 33% in the control group, demonstrating that healer brings marked improvement over current approaches to network-based HIV interventions. What a beautiful way to kind of like marry this, this tech world with this social service world, like and how we can we can kind of go deeper and impact young people and elevate them. If this group became a, a really big thing, it could really help out a lot of, of youth. Our hope is that if we implement Healer on a national scale, we will save money, resources, and most importantly, the lives of our homeless youth.